Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, we will be creating a creative slideshow animation inside the After Effects without using any third-party plugins. We will take a look at various different techniques of creating shapes and elements for the designs. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects. Alright, let's create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Give it a name you like. Now take the ellipse tool and create a perfect circle by holding shift key, like this. Select the layer, and press alt plus control plus home button, to place the anchor point in the center. Now press S to bring scale property and add a keyframe here. Also change the value 0. Now go forward almost 40 frames, and change its value to 100. Then go forward to more 40 frames, and change the value like this. Alright, now select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open Graph Editor. Now double click on this keyframe, and enable this option. Now change the curve something like this. After this, it should look like this. Now rename this layer. And press Ctrl plus D to duplicate this layer. And place this layer like this. Now change both circles color. You are free to choose your own color. Nice, this looks good to me. Now type your text, and adjust it a little bit. But make sure you change the paragraph to the right. Now open the layer, and click on this Animate button, then select Tracking. Now click on this Add button, and select Position, and Opacity. Change the position something like this, also change the tracking value something like this. Turn off the opacity. Now open Range Selector 1, and add a keyframe on Start. Then go forward to Few Frames, and change its value to 100. Select the keyframes, and change the graph something like this. It will make the text animation snappy. Now click on this Animate button, and add another tracking. Add a keyframe here, then go forward to Few Frames, and change the tracking value slightly, according to your text. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them, and change the graph like before. Now let's add our second text. You can use any text you want. Adjust the text a little bit. Open up the layer, click on this Animate button, and add Position, and Opacity. Change the position something like this. 
Now open Rage Selector 1, go to Advance. Change the shape to Ramp Up. Also increase the both value to Max. Now change the offset value to minus 100, and add a keyframe here. Then go forward to few frames, and change the offset value to 100. Now just turn off the opacity from here. You can keep it like this, or change the based onto words from here. By doing this, it will reveal word by word. Like this. Let's add another text. And adjust it like this. Then just apply slow fade on effect on this. Make it a little bit faster. And place these keyframes right after the top text. Align all the text to the center. Let's make a beautiful background. I have an image for this. You can get this with the project file. Let's bring this into our timeline. And adjust it a little bit. When you're moving the mask, make sure you select it. Otherwise it won't work. Drag this keyframes almost to the end of the timeline. Select and press F9 to easy ease the keyframes, and change the graph something like this. Place this layer under the text layers. So it will look like this after all. To make it more dynamic, you can add drop shadow effect on all layers. Like this. You can do one more thing here. Just copy this layer two time. Increase the size and place it like this.
Add fill effect to change the color. Change the color to a darker tone of your background. And turn down the opacity a little bit. And you are done. There are lots of way to create cool animation using these techniques. It's your duty to find your own style. So that's all for today. See you guys on the next one. Till then keep learning, and always try to think outside the box.